All right, what do we got today? Well, quite a few years ago when I first put the cover on this thing, when I was storing it, I screwed up, went inside, tried to open this slide. This is the bedroom slide and forgot the cover was on and I heard a big clunk crack and it bent some of this stuff and I bent it back, but it's aluminum and it has now failed. This is supposed to be like that. And yeah. So that piece has unceremoniously disassembled itself and committed an committed an entropy, and here we are. So everything else is good. All of the you know the, this rewind the spring, everything, these brackets, everything's good. Just this bracket here is bad. And so I tried to find that. And it's very difficult to get the medic parts because, well, it's just difficult. So what I was able to find is a whole kit of this. And there's your part number. But you can't just find this, which is the piece that I did need. Now there are a ton of different versions of that piece. And it took me a while to measure and figure out which one it is to make sure I got the right one. So it appears, yep, that I have the right one. So now that I have the right piece, this is fairly simple. We're going to pull this off. It's just a bunch of Phillips screws. And then we're going to you know, clean it really good. Glop it up with some die core and just reattach this bracket and it's pretty much it now It also came with a both sides with the full set. I don't think I need that one yet, but I'm going to inspect it It seems to be a little loose But we will see I may replace them both But that's really it. So this is not an expensive. Well, I mean it wasn't terribly cheap to get the whole units It was a fair bit, but better than trying to replace the whole thing for no reason. But uh, yeah, I was not able to find just this bracket. So we're going to go get a screwdriver and pop that off. All right, let's see what we can do here. Ooh. All right, there's one. Two, and you can see the die core. I don't know if you can see it, but it's still kind of sticky. Fabulous camera work, I'm sure. Try not to fall off the ladder. Okay. So. Yeah, that die core is good stuff. All right, I'm gonna go get a little uh, pry bar driver thing and see if I can get that out of there. You can see that's the die core that they used at the factory. Whew, geez. I think we got a little bit under there. Super sticky. There it goes. All right. Not much to that, but we're going to get in here and clean all of this stuff off. This is how they make sure that the stuff stays as waterproof as possible. We're going to get in here and clean all that off and goop it up and roll it down and screw the new one in. That should fix it. All right, so we got the old die core. Got this cleaned up with some denatured alcohol. I'm just gonna slop a pretty good coating on there. Should be plenty.
and I gotta figure out a way to record this without using two hands. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, that's pretty good. That'll take a dive. Alright, so what we're going to do is move this around a little bit, make sure she covers up all the holes. That's going to squish out everywhere, but that's okay. And there's a chicken under my camper. I don't know where that came from. Hello. What are you doing? Okay, that's different. I don't own chickens. I hear them in the morning. All right, so. Now, we need to get this down here. About like that. I'll try to line it up with the original holes. Timber! You still recording? Yep. Well, that's nice. Just dropped a bunch of my screws, too. Wonderful. Anyway, so we got one in. Now we're going to have to try to get There we go. Now it's about square. Now we got to go find my other two screws. Back in a minute. All right, found one of them. And I have a pill bottle full of these things from taking them off around the camper and doing other things. So I'm gonna run in into the camper and take a look at that, find another one, and I'll be back again. All right, happen to have one in my bottle. There. That'll work. So. That's the most of it. What I'm going to do now is get this ladder out of the way. I'm going to run it all the way out because this is kind of floppy and sloppy because it hasn't been reeling up, rolling up quite right. So I'm going to run it all the way out, and then we'll look at putting the two hold-down screws that go in here once it's kind of taken a set. So, back in a minute. why it was making some weird noises. The other side has failed as well, finally. So, you can see how that's up over the top and it's just not right. Alright, so we're going to do the exact same thing on this side. Glad I got the whole kit now because you can see the crack in there. So we're going to pop that off now and replace it with the other one in the same manner. Try not to lose the screws. So this one is the one that had gotten really tweaked when I screwed it up the last time, but you can see that white line there. That's where the crack is forming. Uh, let's grab this and see what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, 
<laughs> a little different. Uh, but I had taken that one off before, so it's all glopped up. Uh, what I am going to do, though, is take a look at the arm here and make sure that's not degraded at all because I could change it if I wanted to. It looks to be okay. So we're going to keep that. Snug these up after we're done because that's loose. But uh, now we're just going to do the same thing as before and just uh, scrape this gunk, great, scrape this gunk off and clean it up. Put the other one on. All right, now we got both of them done. The gap on the front looks good. So we're going to go run it back in and then run it back out and then see what we got. All right, well, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna go put the safety screws in here on each side, and we're done. That sounded a lot better. No stuttering, no clunking, no clanking. Top looks tight enough. So we'll get those little self-tappers put in up here, and that's gonna wrap this up. All right, that's good, all fixed. I still got a bunch of parts left over because I didn't need these arms, but I did need, and I did come with all new screws if I wanted to. I guess I could have used those, but might as well use the originals. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's a lot better than flopping in the breeze, and that's going to be good for a long time, I would think, since the other ones are all perfectly fine because I didn't screw those up years ago. So this is probably an uncommon repair, but there's really not much to it if you ever do have this issue. Just get the brackets. And Pop it off, clean it, loop it up with some Dicor or other good sealant, and uh, let her go. So, there you go. Hope you're all having a good day. Take care.